Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Peterson Billiard. Is this rusticated or semi rusticated? I think it's semi. Ah, oh, anyway. The very last of the Bengal slices. I opened that up about four days ago. As you know or may not know, tobacco does not last long. When I'm off, I'm smoking a lot of tobacco. So anyway, um, yeah, all this weather, uh, be safe wherever you're at. But kind of comical, the sensationalism on this weather event across the country, the storms, what have you. So, goofing around on YouTube, uh, son just picked up Henry. Went to the basketball game. They lost 40 to 30. But they're from the same school district because they're nine years old. It's intramurals. They play the same kids. They, you know, they don't play other schools yet. I think they do that in junior high. So got him a biggie bag from Wendy's. He liked that. And uh, I just got back uh, myself from Taco Bell. I don't like everything Taco Bell makes. I do like their just their normal, regular tacos. I don't like a lot of their other stuff. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, the weather. Fooling around on YouTube, and I found a few weather broadcasts that somebody uploaded from the mid-1970s. And one was the blizzard... Or, I don't know if it was a blizzard. I'll take that back. It was the very bitter, bitter cold winter of December 76, 77. And uh, one of the meteorologists on the KDKA Pittsburgh News Channel. Night and day from the day. This guy's long dead. Nice guy. I remember watching him as a kid. He said, tomorrow's forecast, it will be cold with some snow. Please dress warm. I went on Yahoo search. I don't use Google. Went on Yahoo search. Took that date. And that day, it was like nine below zero that day with a windshield factor of like 50 below here in western Pennsylvania and that's all my man said was it's going to be very cold tomorrow dress warm with some snow wow what a difference the sensationalism is just unbelievable how they overreact to the cold and the snow. I remember working outside on the ramp in the cold blizzards of snow, uh, unloading flights that just barely came in before they closed the airport. Pair of long johns on, some work gloves. Yeah. Go out, work the flight for two hours, whatever, hour and a half. I don't know. It's, well, I do know the answer. We're, we have become a society of wimps. There, I said it. You know, I remember seeing construction workers, road crews, working all day. No sensationalism. You just went to work. My dad worked at a steel mill. Next town over, Aliquippa. Big heavy snow. Go down the garage, get the old chains out. I know a lot of younger people might not even know what they are. Tire chains. Hook the tire chains up to the car, back, back tires, you know, rear wheel drive. Off he'd go. Off he'd go with the chains, studs in the tires, snow tires. 
Never complain, never say a word about the weather. <laughs> and not just him. No. 99%, 98-99% of the men in my subdivision worked at that steel mill. Or they worked at a chemical plant opposite direction about a mile and a half from here. Some of the women, we had three RNs here in the subdivision. I remember them because I was uh, buddies with their kids. They were registered nurses. Them ladies go three shifts with the chains on their cars. I guess their husbands did. Off they go. Watch the news. Yeah, it's going to be real cold tomorrow. Going to get a lot of snow. Maybe six inches. Now for the sports. <laughs> now they got the thing going four or five minutes on and on and bring your dogs in and, you know, check your furnace filters and do this and do that. And, you know, I mean, don't you know that when it's real cold to bring your dog inside? Don't you know to check your furnace filters? <laughs> I don't know. It's a different time. Different time. Yeah, something to talk about. Yeah, how about this, too? While I'm on the subject, they canceled the Steeler game uh, up in Buffalo, postponed it till Monday because it's going to be too cold. I remember being a kid watching the Steeler games with my dad. And, uh, man, my dad being an immigrant from Wales, man, he he picked up. He loved American football, hockey, baseball. Man, he just loved them sports. He loved them. But we'd watch those games in the dead of winter on the TV them Steeler fans and other team fans, wherever they were from, they'd bundle up. They'd have them big cheap cigars in their mouth. Back then, you could smoke anywhere. Have a lucky strike hanging out of their mouth or camel or even a pipe. Drinking cold beer, you know, bundled up. They went to the games. They didn't cancel the game because of the windshield. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, just amazing. I don't know. I'm a dinosaur. Yeah. I'm an old codger, as you know. And I'm a dinosaur. Yeah, times change. Thanks for watching. Take care.